Hi there. Well, uh, this week we wanted to come to a place that we hadn't been to uh, for a long time and uh, so we've come to the RSPB Ooze Washes and uh, we haven't been here since last November. It really is a nice reserve but to get here you have to drive over some of the roughest uh, tarmac roads I've ever driven over in my life. They're really, really bumpy. The nearest town to the reserve is Chatteris in Cambridgeshire and uh, it's also not far from Ely and you can see the cathedral in the distance there. Well on arrival you walk up from the car park uh, to a courtyard with this uh, visitor centre which overlooks a feeder area. It's mainly house sparrows that are on view around the courtyard. There's also lots of rowan berries which will be food for field fairs, red wings and wax wings in the coming months. Also notice these fungi in the courtyard area. These are called shaggy ink cap or lawyer's wig to give them their common name. And if you pick them while they're young, before they go black and slimy, then they're edible and actually quite tasty. Right, just going to head out to the hides now to see what we can see. Uh, don't expect to see lots of migrant birds. I think we're a little bit early for that yet, but we'll see what's about. Lovely day for ballooning. Well, it's awesome now, but it really is beautiful. Uh, real Indian summer's day. Some geese flying off into the distance there. Just got into the hide now and as usual uh, there's a few uh, spiders around of various uh, species. Like this tiny variety here which is about the size of my little finger now. Also got a parasitic wasp here. I won't attempt to uh, pronounce a Latin name. Okay, we've opened the hide windows and let's see what's out there. Quite a few um, wildflowers, but uh, most of them have gone to seed. We've got uh, some oxeye daisies and uh, also a few straggly, bristly ox tongue. A few butterflies still on the wing as well, uh, mainly small white and a distant male uh, brimstone there. Beautiful colour. A few dragonflies still flying around as well. It's the last month for dragonflies. There's a few migrant hawkers and uh, common darters and ruddy darters. Well, as I said earlier, it really is a lovely Indian summer's day here. The sun's shining. It's beautifully warm. It's glorious. Looking out over the grassland there, we've got uh, grazing cattle. Also got uh, ponies grazing as well. And it's uh, difficult to imagine that uh, this grassland floods during the winter and it's actually underwater. We're well, looking out as well there's uh, some likely kingfisher posts but uh, unfortunately no kingfishers today. Uh, looking down the other end of the reserve uh, we've got a huge flock of uh, widgeon. Some of them are flying down a little bit close to us now. And also looking out um, I think they, they're crow or rooks, they're, even with a long lens, they're a bit too far away. Also a few heron knocking around, some mute swans. Uh, no sign of any hooper swans yet. Uh, they should be back here quite soon. Also got a hunting kestrel out there. Just swooped down, didn't catch anything that time. You can just see it on the post there. And also... Uh, ideal habitat for uh, waders but we didn't see any waders today even though somebody reported a pectoral sandpiper on the sightings board but we didn't see that but we did get our best view of the day which was this uh, green woodpecker um, it's probably the best footage I've got of a green woodpecker in uh, quite a while saw it fly by about two or three times and eventually it uh, alighted on the tree there Obviously looking uh, for insects with its uh, huge tongue. Well that's it, didn't see uh, anything really spectacular, but uh, what a glorious day to be out and about.